as, with the European Union as well. I mean, what this is doing to Europe and America, <laughs> especially Europe. Can you imagine being a Greek farmer or a Spanish farmer <laughs> who's, who's already, oh, if you even, at least you have a farm, never mind, you know, the 50% of the youth that don't have jobs and all this sort of shit. They already know a little bit about the IMF. They know about the European Central Bank. They know about all of these insane policies that are indebting their country. They know about economic hitmen. They know about these policies. They know enough to know that they're already being raped. And now, <laughs> now you're being told, oh, well, you have to support the United States through the EU to go ahead and give up even less, give up even more of your income to support a fucking policy of sanctions against Russia, which by all accounts, if we look at what they've done, what amazing discipline and maturity in the policy of Russia. I mean, if something equivalent was happening in the United States, i.e., let's say, Mexico was experiencing the same type of turmoil that, that Ukraine is right now. And, and if, if that was happening in Mexico, and we could prove, as we can with Ukraine, that the United States is funding this bullshit, and we could prove that Russia was involved in funding similar activities, what do you think would have happened with Mexico by now? Yes. Holy shit, man, a whole <laughs> fucking legion of, of American soldiers would have already been marched in, bombing the... I mean, amazing, amazing maturity and discipline in terms of political policy when it comes to Russia. I have to say, I mean, I'm, I'm, I am not going to put my uh, uh, stock and in, in faith in Putin. I admire many things about him, but I'm still, I, I don't, there is no fucking savior. There is no savior. Don't put your stock in a savior. It's not going to happen. We are the savior. Yeah. If we want a better world, we have to make it so. Thank you.